Hello everyone, it's the AWAS. What follows here is a video from an event that I completed back in April called the Skull Shoals Ride 2022. Now this is the second time I did this ride, but they had moved it from February uh, previous years to April. So great choice because the weather was spectacular. The location was wonderful. The trails were a bit dusty. I gotta say a lot of dust. Great ride, great group of guys, and actually captured some tips and tricks in this ride that I want to share on this video as well. So this is kind of a mix of a summary of the event, just some of the new experiences, and also some of the tips and tricks that I picked up from some of the more experienced riders. I always find these events as a great opportunity to meet new riders and meet riders of all types, right? Some new ones. Uh, in fact, I was the newbie <laughs> probably a year prior, and now my second year, I feel like I'm getting in a little bit of a groove, but you get to meet some of the riders that have been riding dirt bikes since they were kids and they do these events all the time. It's so much to learn from them and I'll tell you there's nothing better than the motorcycle community. I say this time and time again and at these events it just it keeps being proved to me over and over again. Anytime you ask an experienced rider for advice, information, they're more than willing to share that with you and as we all share the passion of motorcycling. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope when you are at these events you get a chance also to meet new riders and also experience riders and ask them questions. What do they do? What do they bring? Try to learn from each other. I think that's how we progress this sport and that's how we bring new riders to this sport when they feel welcomed. Thank you for watching. Okay. We got some questions. Okay. What's the one part you think you got on your bike that none of the other bikes have? Tips, tricks, uh, I supplies. got this um, hand grenade right here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't leave without that, right? No, you got to have that. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever leave it hand behind grenade. and have to turn around and go back and get Once. it? Okay. Oh, I lost the one in the front. <laughs> That's so, a good um, one. <laughs> I've also got these folding mirrors, which I like. That's a must. All right. Yeah, and they're pretty cheap. And when you break them, they're like 15 bucks. All right. Easier place. Uh, nice. The steering stabilizer is a nice touch for uh, ruts, roots, boulders. Ah, which one is that? Scott's. Scott's, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh -huh. nice. So that's yeah. made a difference. Yeah. Uh, what, heated, what? heated gear uh, plug in here. Okay. That's a must in the wintertime. For gloves. What, what was the t number one tip for a brand new rider be? Get some lessons. <laughs> Go to dirt bike school. Buy a, buy a small bike. Yeah, small bike and lessons. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. a good one. Start out slow. Not so a this race. guy has yeah. already bought the big bike. Uh, he doesn't have lessons and he's here. What are you telling him? Go slow. Okay. Yeah. Build your confidence slowly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's Ride really good. Ride your own pace. Yeah. Exactly. Ride your own pace. Build your confidence slowly. It's not a race. You take it easy. Enjoy yourself. Nice. How long have you been riding? Because you're a kid, nice. Yeah. Okay, we're in off road. Uh, we started off road, rode street bikes for years, I'm back off road again. Okay, so, yeah, there's a lot of guys like me that rode on road uh -huh. and now trying off road. But, uh, a lot of new newbies out here buying dirt bikes now. Yeah, off road so, is more fun. Yeah, I agree. Mean, it's more challenging, there's no cars. Yeah, you're with the trees, creeks, creek crosses are fine, you know. Oh, agree. Much more fun than red lights. And stops like this, right? Historic sites yeah. that you can only get to. All right, let's go to another let's one. Go. All right. This is your bike? Yeah. What just makes you so comfortable because you you got it and they don't? Skills. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get skills. the skills? Uh, racing dirt bikes. Oh, you race. raced? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. That's, I don't know. A brand new rider, what would you can, what would you tell a brand new rider? Uh, get a dirt bike and then get on the dirt and ride in the street. All right. Yeah. All, All right. right. Thank deal. you so much. Yeah. yeah. Nice bike. All right. He's running away. You raised your hand. We oh, can... I know. This is not a race. This is a, this is a point. It's not interrogation. Right. Which bike is whose? T tell us what's on your bike that you think is special or that nobody has on their bike that really makes you comfortable. And Well, what makes me comfortable on a 500 is a big gas tank. Okay. okay. All right. Because so... I have stretched it. 
where I'm very nervous about running out of gasoline. So I that was an this, ad. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I put this four gallon on there. Now I don't have so much worry. Nice. Okay. Yeah. When I first bought it, I had the small stock tank. And, so you got me nervous now because I have a two gallon. <laughs> I'm gonna ride with you, and uh, well, hopefully, here, okay, I'm gonna follow hands, you so. then. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> what, what tips and tricks would you give a brand new rider? He just bought his first bike or second bike. And uh, we'll just go easy at it. Don't uh, if uh, you're following somebody that seems to be faster than you, don't worry about it. Ride your own pace and uh, just learn as you go, and you will learn as long as you ride. That's what it takes. Right? Yeah. One more question for you. If there is only one thing you can take on your bike on a day like this, on a ride like this, what is that one thing, that one must? My COVID mask. <laughs> <laughs> the dust is pretty bad. The but, dust, uh, okay. No, I don't know. Uh, uh, it's pretty well set up. I'm pretty comfortable, so yeah, I'm good to go as is. Perfect, Thank wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yep. Yeah. He did one of those. That's you, that's me. <laughs> Come on, Awaz. Get in there. This is Awaz. This is us. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, I'm the Ewaz. We're gonna put this on YouTube. Is that an 890? Yes. KTM 890. 890 Adventure R, very nice. How long have you been riding? Uh, 30 years. 30 years, okay. 30 years. So you got some experience. It's mostly so, Enduros. Enduros, okay. So events like this, like for new riders or newer riders, what do you recommend like they bring with them on, on an event like this when they're on their bikes? Like uh, what do you pack up? I pack um, those Jolly Ranchers. Okay. Keep, uh, dust out of your mouth. Ah, okay. Because there's a lot of dust out yeah, here. That's chewing a good gum one. to collect some of the dust. Okay. And I always wear. I don't know if anybody else does, but earplugs. Earplugs too. Yeah. Okay. That's... Even even when we're racing, I wear the earplugs. So. Yeah. All right. You'll hear your bike for the rest of the day, most of the time. Uh, and I read a lot about tinnitus for some riders uh -huh. as yeah. well. That's wonderful. So what do you got? What do you pack in that box? Butt wipes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, you never know when you need to stop on the trail. Oh yeah. Um, extra pair of gloves. Okay. A hat. And Gatorade. Gatorade, and nice. A little bit of drinks and tools. Yeah. Extra pair of gloves and goggles. Very cool. All right, appreciate it. How about you? I um, I carry a, a coat, a GPS in case I get lost. With okay. And um, I got a few little snacks. And uh, besides that, um, that's about it. Uh, and you got a DRZ 400? Yeah, that's a 400. For any mods? Uh, yeah, it's just, um, it's got some carburetor mods and um, it's got the, um, you know, the skid plate and stuff. Nice. Necessary, you know, but I got hand guards in case. Oh, yeah. Um, usually I ride with uh, elbow pads. Okay. And knee pads. Uh, what about for new like new riders off road? What do you recommend? How they how should they gear up? Yeah, off road uh, knee uh, knee pads and shoulder pads is uh, is a must. That's okay. the first thing that hits the ground. Uh, your elbows hit first usually. Your knees are right behind it. Oh, and, okay. Uh, you got them too, and you know you do some hip pads with your hip pants. Hip pads as well in the pants. Um, I don't never run no single track without elbow pads. Oh, that. okay. Never. Never. And I bet with the trees and everything so close to you too, you're probably bumping up against stuff too. Yeah, right? that and uh, it's just falling. falling you know? When you time. fall, you usually fall, you know, like this. Yeah. So, you know, if you got hit like this and you got knee pads, uh, they're usually the first things that hit. Okay. So uh, well, that's great advice. Thank yeah. you. And yeah, I've I've got all the gear you mentioned, like you said, and I've used it. Definitely yeah. great advice. All right, guys, appreciate it, man. Have a safe ride. Thanks. Thank you.
That's a 300 rally, yeah, yeah. Steve, I met Steve here at Gold Shoals. On a, a ride like this, like for newer riders, what do you recommend they pack with them? You know, you, you, honestly, you really don't need much because you're with a group, and within the group, like for instance, on the way over here, we just had a guy. Uh, he started getting a wobble, and actually he'll be coming in, maybe. Some of the bolt sheared off on his um, sprocket. There were actually two or three of the bolts that actually sheared off, so it sort of the wobble, so we pulled one of the bolts out and replaced it, so every other bolt on his sprocket now has every other bolt in. So, I mean, you can fix anything. Improvise. You know, if you, if you, yeah, MacGyver if you're, it. If you're with a bunch of people, I mean, that, that, that's so one thing it. I respect about the adventure, like, dual sport crowd. Okay. Like, they are tough, they are innovative, and... You know, I mean, you know, just have a couple of basic tools and have your stuff and have a positive Bingo. attitude and, you know, you, you got your you got your American Express cards yeah, and, and that can it. get you out of anything, you know. And, <laughs> and, it, and I, I did realize the, uh, what I'm realizing in this sport is that the motorcycle community is probably one of the tightest communities of any. I mean, I've been in a yeah. lot of sports and everyone just seems to really help each other out. And yeah. uh, so that's good advice, right? So yeah, lean, lean on the people good. you're with. And, uh, and then like you got your little basis. Garmin in reach, you know, everybody, yeah, you know, yeah. that, this, this, this is it. You that's it. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing, you know, and not so much on the East Coast, but you get out West and in other countries and yep. where, where you're really like, because you think you're in the boonies here, but you're not. you're not. There's no place you can't walk to in a day. Yeah. But you that'll know, get, get to out help west, when you need There's it. places you can't walk to in yeah, three that's days, a good point. right? You yeah. know, so. And man, you got your bike a little dirty there, huh? You had some fun there. You need to come with us, man. We, <laughs> I think, we need to go back. That, that park is good. stops here I didn't do this last year so oh this is so cool look at that look at that now that is a fall oh that's a straight fall right there How cool is that? I, now I didn't do this last year. I skipped this half. So this oh, did you really? Yeah. I got you on video if you don't mind. There you go. Look at that. This is Amazing. Yeah, my first. Good. That's a good bike. That's a good bike. I believe. You get it. Come on, you got it. Like a champ. Look at that. You uh, flat playing road with it. You got it. Like a champ. Put no hand. Oh. <laughs> hey, someone left a couple ladders down there. 
Ho. What a great day it was and really interesting to compare a year of riding in these events and how I felt today versus how I felt a year and two months ago. Now a year and two months ago I was on my KTM 790 Adventure R. Today I decided to bring my Iwasaki, uh, my little KLX 300 because there's some neat little single tracks here. I actually tried some after a long ride today and I'm um, having a blast. But I decided to take the small bike and actually finished the full day. Last year, I was exhausted, as I'll uh, remind you here on the video, after a half day's ride. Today, I was relaxed, I met a great group of guys, I rode with some different guys. We, we had a great ride, and the second half of the day was really interesting. We went to a rock quarry, and uh, that was actually a highlight for me, personally, of the day. A great ride, and I got to meet a bunch of cool guys. What I love is, some of the guys I met actually have seen my videos. Really nice for me to hear from them and uh, get some good feedback too so I can post some more videos in the future. And done some good interviews here too from some experienced riders uh, that I met throughout this event as well. So I'm in a different cabin. Uh, last time I think I was in called, it was called Foxtrot. Uh, this one's called, oh man, Turkey something. I don't know, I'll have to get the name of it later. But it's a tiny little cabin, it sleeps four, and I would say four uncomfortably, you can see there, two bunk bed, and it's got a very humble little bathroom, which I will show you. Do not go in there. Woo! Pretty rough. And I don't know if I'd call this a kitchen, maybe kitchenette, little sink, which is perfect. Uh, microwave and a big refrigerator, which comes in handy too. So honestly, real comfortable. I've got a nice air conditioner here and heater and using the air conditioner all day since we're in April and it's hitting about 80 degrees right now. Love being back here in this park and actually for the first time exploring some of the single track and I'm gonna do the night ride tonight. So I'm gonna record that night ride. I, I didn't have that uh, night ride last year because uh, the event was rained out. C couldn't have asked for a more beautiful day, sunny, very dusty out there on some of the trails, but that just adds to the adventure. There's more to come, thanks. Man, why do I bring so much stuff when I go on these trips? What the hell do I even have in that box? I only use like maybe 10% of it. And all this stuff for food and, all right, the wine, that's a must, but I mean, and, and then I have all this electronic stuff up here too. You gotta rough it a little bit here, get tough. What's up? <laughs>
That's too much fun. <laughs> Should be illegal. <laughs> It's Sunday morning. I'm getting ready to pack up. I went ahead and instead of doing the ride this morning, had a great night's sleep. Then hit some of the trails out here, did my first single track, which was so much fun. And comfortable little place I stayed here. Had the turkey roost. AC was kicking last night. I uh, just want to thank everyone for this event. This was even better than last year's and the weather was spectacular. I think great call making this happen in April instead of February. Much better weather. The fireworks last night, I left my phone behind, but they were a lot of fun. A little fun around the campfire too. I'll be back next year definitely again. Thank you. Peace out.